Hi there folks and welcome back to the channel. The purpose of today's video is we're going to take a look at this, what's in this bag. Um, we've been purchasing ourselves a wood burning stove to put in our bell tent. So that's in here. What we're going to do is we'll take out the bag, we'll take a look at it, we'll get it set up, um, we'll get it burn, give it its first burn and we'll maybe cook some food on it today. See how it operates and stuff like that. We'll give it a whirl. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to giving this a shot. So stick around and we'll take a look at it. We'll start getting out the bag just now. First thing, the bag is quite a good size and it seems quite strong, um, quite robust. Plenty of space, it's a little bit bigger than what the stove is, um, which is good because I can put things like gloves, uh, fire lighters, anything like that for getting the fire going inside the back with the stove. So yeah, what we'll do now, we'll uh, get the stove out the bag and we'll uh, get it set up. There we go folks, there's a the stove there. This one's called the Nomad Firebox Stove, I believe, and it's from a company called Karma Canvas. It looks extremely similar I would say probably almost identical to the Outback of Firebox um, with its construction, its shape and everything. Um, on first impressions of the stove, it seems really sturdy and quite strong, um, a quite thickish steel. I think it weighs about 12 kilograms, so not too heavy inside. If you open the door, we've got the sections for the flue. And we've got um, the rack for the sides that attach to the side of the stove. We've got this little device for lifting that off. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is get this stove set up and then we'll get it lit. I'm going to sit it on somewhere a little bit more level I think as well if I can. That's the sections of the flue. There's um, eight of these in total. So we'll get that assembled off for each one of the machine itself. This one's got a double wide end for the spark arrester there we go that's all the components attached now to the stove We've got the flue there which it seems to be quite tall the spark arrestor at the top, coming back down the stove and we have these two shelf bracket things that are on the sides, they attach just there which will be ideal, obviously maybe get a couple more pans, two pans rather than one on there oh, looks good, I'm quite pleased with the way it looking at the up to now. Right, we'll get this lit and we'll uh, get a brew on and some food.
we have it. That's the stove all set up, fired up, burning away nicely. As you can see, that's uh, starting to burn really well. There's a fair bit of heat generating there. I've not long just put that log on. That's starting to take now. Shut the door back up. As I said, there's a fair bit of heat generating from here. This is going to keep our bell tent lovely and warm in the winter months. So we'll be looking forward to getting out camping and using the tent over the winter. This will be nice and toasty warm. The, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put a pan on and we're going to make, have an attempt of cooking on here and we're going to make some soup. We've got some nice bits there to put in it, so we'll enjoy that. See how it cooks. So we'll get that on now. Well, we've got Claire chilling by the new stove. What are you thinking of it? Yeah, it does. Looks canny, doesn't it? The, uh, you're looking forward for getting in front of that in the uh, tent? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. It'll be quite warm. We'll be sat in our undies. <laughs> <laughs> but for another video. <laughs> That's burning away nice. And get this pan on and get some soup made, eh? Is it warm? Yeah. Can't hear you? Yeah. Hot. Hot. <laughs> right, we better get, get it on then, hadn't I? <laughs> right, we better get this soup on the go before the boss starts kicking my ass. She's got a mouthful of sweets, so she can't say now. Well, as you can hear, that's uh, heating up nicely. Just a few onions in. As it just. It's a nice selection of root veg. Get them in. And just uh, let that lock saute for a little bit and let them get to know each other. Some potatoes. Get them in. Like I said, while we're firing it up, we might as well give it a first go of cooking on it so we have an idea. Of where it's like. So that's all sizzling away nice. We'll just leave that for a few minutes and have a little carry on. Well, the vegetables have been sauteing for a while, for a few minutes. So, what we'll do now. We've got a little bit of chorizo sausage. And if anybody see me cook on any of my other videos, they'll gather by now that we're big fans of chorizo. We'll get that in. Again, just let it sort it off a little bit with a veg. Give that a few minutes and then what we'll do, we'll, we've got some spices and seasonings and stuff like that to put in. We'll get them in. Smelling nice, that eh? Well, this has all been simmering away nicely, that simmering. Sauteing nicely now for a good few minutes. So it's time to add some other ingredients, some spices and what have you. What we've got here. A nice bit of smoked paprika. Can get more. For a bit of heat, we've got some cayenne pepper. Give that a tap on there. We we'll want a bit more cayenne pepper than that because we like our spice. There we go. Some paprika should do it. Get 
give all that a stir in, get all them vegetables and the chorizo coated in that. This is smelling amazing. Okay. A bit more paprika, I think. Just as a guess. Then we want some tomato puree. About that much. We've got to mix it. We'll have a tin of chopped tomatoes. that in. We'll put a couple of these little stock pot things in. It's just chicken stock. We'll get them in there as well. I just want to leave the tub that. Next one. My hands are clean. Great. I can feel the heat coming out of this stove where I'm at. I'm quite warm now. Right, we'll get that topped up with some water now. One. There we go, bring up the boil and we let that simmer away. There we go, we've got the fire burning away nice. We've got the soup bubbling away. We've got the uh, pot on there to make a brew. Shut this door back up. And we're just chilling, just enjoying being by the waterside. Claire's just gone off. She's picking slows to make some slow gin. Which will be nice. Hopefully take that out on camping trips next year. See what the smoke's like coming out the top. Virtually no smoke coming out the top. So I'd say the stove is burning really, really well, which is good. Absolutely loving it. Now the soup's almost ready. It's absolutely smelling amazing. We've just got a couple more ingredients to go in. We've got some pipe lentils to go in. I couldn't get uh, dried ones, so I've just got these that are already cooked, so we'll just put so many of them in. Let's just see what that's looking like. A few more, yeah? 
Don't be cute. Come on. Let's have a look at this. We've got too many, we don't have to be. Yeah, I reckon all of them. Yeah. So we're putting them lentils in. We've got some kale to go in as well. So we'll put that in. Okay. Ow. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> The flu. We've got some tea over there brewing. No, I need it about. I think that'll do for the kale. Right, we'll put the lid back on that and we'll just allow them lentils to heat through and that kale to wilt a bit. There we go. See how that goes, eh? There's the soup cooked. Smells absolutely amazing. We're really looking forward for a bowl of this. We've both uh, got rumbly tummies right now and I've got a sore hand from where I'm burning it. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes, starving. But we're I'm going to give that another minute and then we're going to sit back and uh, enjoy it. Right, that's the soup cooked. We're just gonna sit and chill by this, let it die down before we take it apart and then and try this soup, see if it's all right. It smells nice, so here we go, see what it tastes like there. Got a bit of kick from the cayenne pepper. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely fantastic. The veggies have got a nice little bit of a bite to them still. Yeah. Not too overcooked. Kale's really nice. Really good for you, full of iron. We're going to carry on enjoying this and we'll get back to you in a little bit when we get it all. <laughs> right folks, that's the soup done and it was absolutely beautiful. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> if anybody wants a recipe for the soup, yeah. check out Winter Soup by the Hairy Bikers. That's available to get online. They stole my recipe. But uh, I love words with them. But no, the soup was absolutely beautiful. The uh, stove is absolutely excellent. It's, uh, as I said before, similar design in the Outbacker um, firebox. It's uh, really well made. The flue and everything seems really sturdy. Kicks out some heat and you can't wait to use it in the tent. Get out on some winter camps, especially when it's really nice and frosty outside. We'll be nice and toasty. 
um, inside. One word of advice, make sure you don't catch your hand on the flute because I'm bug as not. That's uh, blistered. Uh, but yeah, fantastic stuff. The only thing we can say now is thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, we enjoyed the soup yeah. and chilling. <laughs> Beautiful day to be out. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and please give the video the thumbs up and don't forget to share. And we'll see you again on the next one. Bye for now. We're just going to sit back and enjoy a brew and let the stove die out. Bye for now. Thank you.